What's going on everybody? Today we're going to look at Forza Motorsport on the RX 6800 XT and I'm going to make a similar, somewhat similar video to the Last of Us video that I made last time. So the footage will be recorded at 120 FPS and we're going to take a look at the game running natively and with AMD fluid motion frames enabled. Okay. So we're going to take a look at the settings real quick here. So we're running the game at 1440p. This is quite a bit of a demanding game and all the settings are maxed out except for ray tracing. It's on high instead of ultra. So we hover around that 60 frames per second base. Um, FSR DLSS doesn't really work in this game for some reason. I don't know why, but you don't really get many, many frames. But anywho, so we're going to look at this now and well, I'm going to throw the fluid motion frame footage next to the native footage. So it'll be on the right. And like I said previously, you can only see the total amount of frames, including the generated frames on the AMD overlay on the bottom because the frames are generated by the driver independent of the game engine. Okay. And you'll also be able to see the discrepancy between the frames. That's the cost to the GPU performance to generate these frames. Like I said, they're not free frames, okay? Uh, but anyway, we'll take a look at this now. And we'll also slow the footage down by 50% in a little bit. Just to see if we can pick up on any differences. Because from what I can see, it actually looks pretty good with the fluid motion frame. Actually, a lot better than I thought it would, given that... There's quite a bit of fast motion in this game. What do you guys think? Uh, can you spot any any big differences? Uh, I'd say that to me, it just looks more fluid. Obviously, it doesn't feel like you know we're getting 120. It feels like we're getting 60 or so FPS, which is fine. This is just for motion fluidity. But to me, the quality of the image is actually pretty good. I can't really notice that it's on if i'm being honest i would say that maybe some of the distant far objects like chain link fences maybe guardrails that sort of thing uh, maybe it's a bit blurrier which this game you can't see a bit of uh, aliasing in the distance anyway even if you play it 4k so that's not the point but you know we're gonna slow the footage at 50 percent and then um, take a look together and if anything pops out uh, to you guys, you can leave a comment with a timestamp below, we can sort of examine it together. Here we are at 50% now, and I do realize that this is not how you play the game because <clears throat> I see people sometimes leave. Uh, those type of comments. I uh, This is more like a, a, an academic view of the game and the technology, right? It's just from a, an enthusiast perspective, essentially. Obviously, you know, we don't play games that slow down to 50% or zoomed in or anything like that. But when you're kind of looking at things in more detail and just trying to compare, this kind of makes it uh, easier. It makes sense, right?
So then, could you spot any differences between the two at 50% speed? If you can't, let me know. Leave a timestamp below uh, so I can take a look at it uh, with you guys. And um, yeah, so I think right now what I'm going to do is at a request of someone or at the suggestion of a commenter is we're going to slow the footage down to 25%. Just, just for fun, just to look at it, and it's just going to be the uh, the beginning of the race because that's where there's the most cars, and we'll see what it looks like. Well, to give up my thoughts then, my conclusion is that AMD Fluid Motion Frame in Forza Motorsport works really well actually. So if you have a high refresh rate display, I think this, this will be pretty good to add to some motion fluidity for you, whether it be 120 FPS uh, Hertz screen or 175 or whatever and if you're the higher the base frame rate the the better it'll it'll feel for you so i think there is some utility in this uh, feature for this game absolutely anyway i hope you guys liked this video and if you did give it a like and if you have any thoughts or suggestions for me leave them below and thank you for watching my video i hope you have a great rest of the weekend thank you